Going through some old pictures the other day, I came across my old 1998 GMC pickup truck that I picked up just before I built my garage. Now back then I never had much in the way of a garage to work out of, so everything I had to do was out by the door. This was a, a daily driver, something I had to fix it up, clean it up, make it look good, so a lot of you guys can relate to this. Truck needed a bit of work, gas tank leaked in it, so I had to remove the tank and put a new tank in it. Uh, that was a big undertaking considering the way the tanks were put in these trucks, but I managed to get it done. Not having a garage at this time, as you can see, I did all the work on this truck out by the door. I set my welder up, just laid it out by the door, and I done all my cutting and grinding and everything with extension cord running to the house. No fancy garage here, just out by the door, lying on the ground, welding away. Cab corners for these trucks are pretty cheap. I can't remember. I think they were $30 each or something at the time. So I picked up a couple of cab corners and uh, had to weld them into it. Now, I wasn't overly fussy with this truck in terms of, like, uh, the cotton belt and stuff like that. But, you know, I did put the patches in it half decent. I wasn't going replacing fenders or anything on this truck and picking up new fenders. The fender had a rough spot over the wheel well. I just welded it up. Now, remember, this is my daily driver. So I worked on this drove it, worked on it, and drove on it. It was, it was nothing that I just took on and went at it and stayed at it. So I drove this truck around with the pieces, welded in it with raw metal on this for a number of days. Yep, I even did the body work out the driveway. All the filler work and all that type of stuff. I had a compressor in my shed, but you know, I couldn't fit the truck in the shed itself. But the, I ran the hose outside and just turned around and applied filler around, wait for it to dry and buzzed it off. I concentrated on the bodywork and the repairs that I done, plus any dents that I come across. And I just didn't bother with the rest of the truck. All I wanna do is get all that done and get that primed. Now I can't remember where I got this primer, but I'm pretty sure it was stuff that I had kicking around from my old shop. Uh, you know, and I just mixed it up and sprayed it on the truck as best I could with what I had. I drove the truck for another little while, then it was time to get this truck ready for paint. And all I did is just turn around and I let it sit for a few days and then I just sanded the whole truck down, including the primer. After she was all sanded, I gave the truck a good bath, gave it a good wash inside the doors, moved any grease or anything that was around to get this ready for paint. Now, I was going to paint this truck on a budget, of course. When it comes to a budget, you got to use budget paint. This is old trim clad rust paint, old gloss, fire red. I mixed this one to one with uh, a good automotive thinners and added a drop of acrylic hardener that I had kicking around from my shop days to the uh, actual paint itself just to give it the, a chance to harden up because this trim clad doesn't dry very fast and that's one of the reasons why I mix it one to one it helps with the drying process I managed to find a spot that I can actually get it inside so I can actually paint it uh, thanks Dave and uh, it's time to get this thing ready so I can get it painless nothing fancy this is all leftover newspaper print you can buy it here by the rolls uh, when you when you go to new, newspaper places and they give you small rolls of it so I had a roll of it there kicking around so that's what I used to tape it up with and then I just turned around and washed the whole vehicle off with glass cleaner and that was it she was ready for paint spraying this stuff was always fun uh, I have always put it on extremely wet again the mixture was one to one with a drop of hardener in it and I put three maybe four coats of uh, color on this car and I can tell you this stuff is fantastic because the first coat, uh, she covered like a dream. Just my luck. We had one of them days where it was extremely cold that night. And the next morning, for some reason, it warmed up very quickly. And when you open up the garage doors, everything that's cold would sweat, including the truck. And what ended up happening, the whole vehicle got wet and you couldn't touch it. You had to put it out in the sunlight and let the sun dry. And after the sun dried it off, uh, the whole paint, all the paint on the vehicle went flat. It was just one of those moments. It happens every now and again. Um, you know, that's one thing dealing with cheap paint. But, you know, I wasn't expecting the weather to change suddenly. We're talking about 20, 25 degree change. Going from a real cold day to a real humid, sticky day. And this is what happens. But, I will say this, didn't take much. Bit of compound, bit of water, and the old buffer and she came up shining like a nickel. And here she is, all finished. She looked really good when she was done and the paint held up really well. 
So as you can see, you don't need no fancy tools, you don't need no fancy gadgets. It was a lot of fun doing this project. Every now and again, you just want to go out and just, you know, jump at something and just pick and poke at it and you not worry about it and drive it. I always have fun building these projects. So, hope you enjoyed this little one. I've come across this and I figured you'd get a kick out of it. So, thanks for watching and catch you on the flip side.